Hi there, and welcome to Parlay Ideas. This is um, my dashboard. As you can see, I can open it up by clicking on the top left there. There we go. And then you can see recent roundtables, my courses, Parlay Universe, my portfolio notifications, upgrade account, and my Gmail at the very bottom. So I can close this up or open it up as I go. Going to go through my courses and Parlay Universe. Let's start with Parlay Universe. Notice this is um, a list of topics, but not only topics actual verbal and written discussions based on a topic. Now you can search for topics over here. Let me show you the subjects that are available. There's English, history, science and innovation, social studies, 21st century skills, getting started topics, mathematics, modern languages, philosophy and ethics, business and economics, professional development, and arts and culture. You can search for uh, whatever you want under subjects and collections here, or let's close this up. You can search for them here. And there are filters. If you click on the filters, you will get the following. Written roundtables or verbal roundtables, tags that are available and skills. Now, there aren't any skills yet. The list is empty, but we'll wait for the skills that you'll add when you create an account and start your discussions, your parlay ideas, and then you can apply to whatever you wish. Let's go back to show subjects and go into professional development. Under professional development, we will see the following. Notice there are written roundtables or discussions, and you can also see who they're by. Parlay by Socrates, Annalisa, Socrates, Shelley, Stanton. There are other names or organizations. That's your account name or your whether you want to have your real name, a pseudonym or an organization name. It's up to you, actually. You're free to do that. And notice the numbers next to them, 35, 62, 70, 115, 78, and so on. And these are, notice if I click on them, uh, people who've used these topics. Now, notice it says this topic is for a written round table, a written discussion activity for your classroom. You can learn more about it. Let's put an X on that. Notice um, you can use the topic. If you click on Use Topic, Research and Visible Learning. And you can take a look at, there's a video there, and discussion questions, peer feedback. And you can go into the author. In this case, it's Parlay. So if I click on Use this topic, I'll be able to use it in my courses. And I only have one course right now, so I would have to click on that one. And then I can click on Create Round Table, and it'll be available in my course. And then I can invite students. Okay, I can get a link to invite them, or I can invite them. There's other information there by clicking on Invite Students. So notice what happens here. I can invite students from a list. I can share as a code okay, by copying it. Or I can share as a link by copying it. I can also share it in my LMS integration. I have only integrated Google Classroom. The other ones are only for those who have a paid account. You can go into course settings as it says there and set up your Counts. As I said, I only have Google Classroom integrated. Let's go back here into Invite Students. Okay, so everything is here. Here's your prompt. You can edit, edit prompt. 
so you don't have to only work with what's available. You can edit it. That's a great way to start. And then change your mind. And then settings. Notice uh, you can set this up. Feedback and so on. That's up to you. And you can always edit anything. The discussions. We looked at that before. Summary. And you'll also get a table at the end. And you can see some of these in the uh, courses for demo. So we're going to go into my courses. Under my courses, you'll see your course, but you also see a demo. Okay, and the demo course is there by default. If you go into the demo course, you'll be able to get all the information here. Okay, so you've got a demo for written, verbal, and here's another one for written. If you go into it, let's go into this one, which is more current. If you go into it, it'll remind you that, hey, this is just a demo. But you'll get a chance to see what's available here, as I said, with a summary. You'll get a summary of everyone who's used it from their countries. And I think this is wonderful for analytics. Table, you'll also be able to get it as a table. So you get a better idea of who used it and um, some assessment comments and so on. So let's go back into prop. So this is a demo. Let's open up our um, dashboard again and go into my courses. This is my course so far. Notice what I have here. I've added John Hattie's research on visible learning to my ELT. And I also have uh, I've added mindset versus fixed mindset to my AI for ELT. I can create another round table by creating from scratch Parley Genie. Notice here, written or verbal. I have to decide. Or I can take from my portfolio, but I haven't written anything. Or you can go into Browse Universe at the bottom there once again. Let me show you how you can create a course by going into my courses and create a new one there at the top. Create a course. Okay, notice that the courses go with one of these. Let's click on course. You can give it a title. I'll call it um, AI for Moodle. And then the section, you can have a section here. I'll add introduction. And then I can invite co-teachers. Isn't that amazing? I, there's the plus. I can add teachers. Let's go into done. I'm not going to do that right now, but I think it's a great way to collaborate with other educators. So I've created the course successfully. Okay. And um, I can have, notice an image here. I can also edit this by choosing from some of these or upload my own. Okay, that's an option two. Uh, this one looks kind of nice. They all look nice, right? Um, the participants, again, I can get them from a CSV from my computer. I can, and there's the banner image that I can add. So the participants, integrations into one of these LMSs, in my case, would be all of them are paid. You need to have a paid subscription, except for Google Classroom. Google Classroom is legit, and you can add that one. And I only have, well, I've got a few courses there. Maybe I'll choose uh, teaching online using Moodle. Let's see if this one works. And then done. No, something went wrong, so it's not working. Maybe I do have to pay for it to work. I can delete the course, archive it. Okay, there is what I have so far. And uh, I can work on that. And then add round tables. If I go into recent, I can add some. Or I can create a new one. Again, I can select a course that I want to create it for. Let me select it for this one. Okay, and then I will use Browse the Universe for it. 
I'll add Moodle. Maybe there is something here. If not, maybe I'll be the first one to create one from scratch. So let's, I see there's something here. I don't know if physics, I don't know if that's connected or not to Moodle. We could try that. It's physics. Links will be posted only in Moodle. Oh, there is something here connected. Okay, let's use this topic and see uh, what we get here. Okay, we'll add it to this course, AI for Moodle, create round table. Remember that we can always edit. So it's good to have something, as I said before, it, it kind of helps. Right, so um, let's go to the prompt. So this is to motivate students to analyze the experiments. Ooh, this is physics. So I can change that. Okay, edit the prompt and make the change. Motivate students to analyze. Uh, AI for Moodle activities, for example, and resources, perhaps, and resources. So I've, I've changed it, but I started with something. That always helps. And content will, links will be posted only in Moodle at the official, at the official uh, integrating technology site. Okay, um, please feel free to add your own questions, peer feedback, do not use real or even, okay, names hosted by integrating technology, okay, so we just make the necessary changes and we're good to go. Uh, this could be anywhere, okay, this is just feedback and instructions, syllabus, and uh, into, I don't have any code of content. A waiver for the syllabus. Okay, forget conduct. Be mindful when posting no jokes. Okay, I don't know. This is serious stuff. Okay, so now we have it. Okay, roundtable saved with success. Settings. Um, okay, I can decide close date, email notifications always. Genie feedback, why not? Assessment. Okay. Uh, and of course, save. Now here, notice here with invite students, again, you get uh, the link, share as a link. You can also share the code, as I mentioned before, and you see that it's copied. Excellent. So that's basically it. Uh, that's what it's, oh, I, I need to change the title here. Oh, well, yeah. Um, notice, I don't know if that's possible, but we could try. Uh, it may not be possible when we use somebody else's prompt. Uh, we need to use um, edit prompt. Let's see. I can. Oh, I can there. OK, so we've got um, AI for Moodle course development. OK, course development. That's the course that I'm offering in January and you're invited to join. All right, so here we've got discussions in a different way. Uh, Moodle has its own discussions, but I think this is an excellent addition to that. And that's it, as I said. You also have a chat here so that you can chat as you go. So let me add hello. All right, here we go. And you can also um, notice what's here with the three dots. You can block, well, I'm not going to block anybody, or clear messages. But there's that option in any case, just in case you need to. Let me know what you think of um, this. There's Parlay Ideas. Um, there's our dashboard. We can close that up again. Now, you don't always see the dashboard. For example, when you go into Parlay Universe, I just want to mention this before I go. Notice there's no dashboard. You need to go into your account and then um, into Parlay Dashboard in order to get that. And there you're back to the Parlay Dashboard with your courses and the demo courses that come with it by default. And uh, you can see your participants once you have them. I don't have anyone yet, but I can join, join the round table. Bye for now.